Assez composé, les verbes de motion, partie 3. In this video, we will review the passé composé, partie 1, partie 2. We will then delve into passé composé, partie 3, les verbes avec être. We will then have guided practice and independent practice at the end. Le passé composé, partie 1. To create stage 1 of the passé composé, you need the appropriate form of avoir and the ed or past participle form of your verb. To create the ed form of the past participle form of your verb, you take the infinitive and change the er to accent aigu, re to u, and ir to i. As an example, let's use parler. And imagine you want to say, I have talked. Your first step will be to use the appropriate form of avoir, in this case, j'ai, and the appropriate ed or past participle form of your verb. Parler is an er verb, and er verbs change to e accent aigu. Now you have j'ai parlé, I've talked, or I did talk, or I talked. As another example, let's use attendre. Imagine you want to say, he has waited. Your first step will be to select the appropriate form of avoir, in this case, il a, and the appropriate past participle or ed form of your verb. Attendre is an re verb. Re verbs change to you. Now you have il a attendu. He's waited, or he has waited. As yet another example, let's use finir. Imagine you want to say, we have finished. Your first step will be to select the appropriate form of avoir, in this case, nous avons, and the appropriate past participle, or ed, form of your verb. Finir is an ir verb and I are verbs change to I. Now you have, nous avons fini, we have finished. The second stage of le passé composé is similar to the first. You need the appropriate form of avoir, and the ed form or the past participle of your verb. In stage two, however, these sets of verbs do not follow the traditional pattern of er to e accent aigu, re to u, and ir to i. These verbs are irregular. That is to say, they have their own unique ed form, or past participle form, despite ending in er or re or ir. Voir is an example of an irregular verb with its own unique ed or past participle form. Suppose you want to say, I have seen. First, I still need to select the appropriate form of avoir, in this case, j'ai. However, since voir is irregular, I must use its special ed or past participle form, its vu. Now I have j'ai vu, I have seen, or I saw, or I did see. Another example of an irregular verb with its own unique past participle form is lire. Suppose I want to say I have read. First, I still need to select the appropriate form of avoir, in this case, j'ai. However, since lire is irregular, I must use its special past participle form. It's lu. Now I have j'ai lu, I have read. I read or I did read. Yet another example of an irregular verb with its own unique past participle is recevoir. Suppose I wanted to say, I have received. 
First, I would still select the appropriate form of avoir, in this case, j. However, since recevoir is irregular, I must use its special past participle form. It's reçu. Now I have j'ai reçu, I have received, or I did receive, or simply I received. The third stage of le passé composé is similar to stages one and stage two. Stage three passé composé is used almost exclusively for verbs of motion. Common verbs of motion for stage three passé composé are aller, to go, arriver, to arrive, sortir, to exit, or to go out, retourner, to return, descendre, to descend, or to go down, entrer, to enter, and rentrer, to return. To create stage three of le passé composé, Instead of the appropriate form of avoir, you need the appropriate form of être. Then you continue as normal, still needing the appropriate ed form or past participle form of your verb. These verbs follow the pattern of er to accent aigu, re to u, and ir to i. Plus, with stage three passé composé, you must make your ED or your past participle form agree in gender and in number with the subject by adding an E if the subject is feminine and or an S if the subject is plural. Again, to create stage three passé composé, instead of the appropriate form of avoir, you need the appropriate form of être. Followed by still needing the past participle of your verb. And these verbs follow the pattern of er to e accent aigu, re to u, and ir to i. However, you must also make your past participle or your ED form agree in gender and number with the subject of the sentence by adding an E if it's feminine and or an S if it's plural. Let's use ALE as an example. Aller is a stage three verb in the passé composé because stage three verbs express motion and aller means to go. Suppose I wanted to say, she went. First, I use the appropriate form of être, which in this case is elle. Then I transform aller to its ed or past participle form. Aller in the passé composé is an ER verb, and so ER verbs change to le accent aigu. Now, because aller is a stage three verb in the passé composé, I must determine the gender and number of the subject to decide if I need an E or an S to add to my past participle, which is aller. The subject of the sentence is L. Thus, the subject is feminine. Since the subject is feminine, I must add an E to the past participle alle. The subject is not plural. Therefore, I do not need to add an S. My final sentence is elle est allée, she went. To review, to create stage three of le passé composé, instead of using the appropriate form of avoir, you need the appropriate form of être. 
as well as needing the past participle or ed form of your verb plus making sure that your past participle or your ed form agrees in gender and number with the subject of the sentence by adding an e if the subject is feminine and or an s if the subject is plural let's use ale as an example again ale is a stage three verb in the passé composé because stage three verbs express motion and ale means to go Suppose I want to say, Marie and Claire went. First, I use the appropriate form of être, which is Marie et Claire sont. Then I transform aller to its ed or past participle form. Aller in the passé composé is an er verb, and er verbs change to e accent aigu. Because stage three verbs, like ale, must make their past participles agree in number and in gender with the subject, I must determine if I need to add an E or an S to ale. The subject of the sentence is Marie et Claire. Thus, the subject is feminine and plural. Because the subject is feminine and plural, I must add an E and an S to Ale. My final sentence is Marie et Claire sont allés. Marie and Claire went. Again, to create stage three of le passé composé, instead of the appropriate form of avoir, you need the appropriate form of être as well as the past participle or the ed form of your verb. These follow the pattern of er to e accent aigu, re to u, and ir to i. As well as making sure that your past participle agrees in gender and number with the subject of your sentence by adding an e if the subject is feminine or an s if the subject is plural. Let's use aller again as an example. Ale is a stage three verb in the passé composé because stage three verbs express motion and ale means to go. Suppose I want to say Jean went. First, I take the appropriate form of être, in this case, Jean a. Then I transform ale to its past participle form. Ale in the passé composé is an er verb, and er verbs change to e accent aigu. Now, because aller is a stage three verb in the passé composé, I must determine the gender and number of the subject to decide if I need to add an E or an S to the past participle aller. The subject of the sentence is Jean. Thus, it is masculine and singular. Since the subject is masculine, I do not need to add an E. Since the subject is singular, I do not need to add an S. Thus, my final sentence is Jean est allé. Jean went. Once again, to create stage three of le passé composé, instead of using avoir, you need to find the appropriate form of être, as well as changing your past participle or your ED form. ERs change to accent aigu. RE's change to U and IR's change to I, as well as making sure that your past participle agrees in gender and in number with the subject of the sentence by adding an E if the subject is feminine or an S if the subject is plural. Let's use aller once again as an example. Aller, remember, is a stage three verb because in the passé composé, stage three verbs express motion and aller means to go. Suppose I wanted to say, Jean et Claude went. First, I need to find the appropriate form of être. In this case, Jean et Claude sont. Then I transform aller to its past participle form. Aller in the passé composé is an ER verb, and ER verbs change to e accent aigu.